What's up guys, it's Tristan's Adventures. I am out here past Queen Valley at a very remote old man of mine. We're, I'm looking at what a place called the Stone Cabin or the Miner's Cabin, it depends what you wanna call it. I am actually out here in a really cool uh, Bronco and here shooting some video. But yeah, I'm out here, she's video. There's a really cool cabin right down there and such. And let's see what we can find. Okay guys, we're at the miner's cabin. This is a cabin hidden way up in the hills. It's about a 50 minute drive from the US 60 past Superior. This is a really cool cabin that's pretty popular among off-roaders. They kind of use it as an old destination. This used to be an old cellar that was used by the cabin. But what we want to see is mainly this over here. Just the amount of work and everything that went into this rock is just absolutely incredible. And these doorways, like... It's crazy because you can even see right, right there, like finger marks right there where the guy splattered cement. So there was a very large mining operation here at one time, but it's no longer accessible, obviously. But what happened was is the land here got bought up by another mine, and then they ended up doing it elsewhere. Let's enter the house, why don't we? What's funny is there's actually a lot of lizards in here. I mean, just the rock work is incredible. I mean, if you look at just, I mean, how perfect they lined all that rock. You have your old stove. Imagine an old man at the end of the day sitting there with a chair, at the chair looking at his gold samples for an ore from down below. The most incredible thing is this man sitting here. The cool thing is like this wood. They're very large flat nails. Wake up, come out your front door. This would have been your water siphon. So they would have stored water that would have came from the roof down into here. And then at the bottom down here, which is no longer visible because I've been here before, there was a water spot that came out and then you had fresh water that came from the roof. Because remember in Arizona, it did used to rain a lot here. pretty cool that they were pretty advanced about that. that view. It's incredible to see the little tiny rocks. I figured I'd just give you guys a little quick video of this cool old stone cabin. It's not stuff that you see very often anymore. It was definitely advanced for the time that they were using cement as well. You can see how they use logs through the windows. I mean, whoever built this was very smart indeed. What sucks is this has fallen over. Last time I was here, this was actually structurally up. The old windmill. The 
don't see in Arizona very often. Pretty cool little mine. Well guys, that's it. I just want to say thanks for everything. If you stick around, this is just a quick view of a cabin that I know that's out here. It's pretty cool. Not something you see very often in because most of these have been torn down, lived in. A lot of BLM and the Forest Service and a lot of other places, they ended up tearing these down because a lot of people are coming up here and living in them. But there still are a few that are relatively still accessible. This is kind of a landmark in a way. In fact, it's kind of funny is if you actually go on Google Maps, you can actually see this place. Um, and such and it's actually a destination anyways i appreciate you guys watching and i hope you guys have a good one and this is just a quick video and i'll talk to you the next one peace